Hello, greetings, and welcome to another mix-up video. And this mix-up is going to mix Haritos, the little jars, Jaritos, little clay jars, introduced in 1950, uh, produced in Mexico by Novamex, and it's got a really pretty plastic bottle, like molded plastic. Now they have glass, you know, if you get the smaller bottles. Best Buy. Okay, so we're in the date. Got a date, guys. Um, I forgot to mention when I did the other uh, mix-up. It's the official drink of tacos. <laughs> and there's uh, their um, Sangria uh, Centurial. I think it's called Sangria. It's the official drink of burritos. But uh, pineapple, na natural flavor soda, uh, real cane sugar, No, none of that funny, funky monkey High fructose corn syrup, American business, and um, it's got yellow food coloring. And it's natural flavors, natural pineapple flavor, or it said natural flavor, but uh, I would assume it's from pineapple, maybe like dehydrated pineapple that's filtered out, or pineapple extract, or pineapple oil that they use sometimes, like oils. But anyway, that's it. Uh, <clears throat> bought this at Dollar. 25 tree and it's the same size as a wine bottle so if you get a regular size wine bottle it's the same size as this 750 milliliters or a whiskey bottle gin bottle same size okay so now I have a bigger bottle of Vadovska this is the big 1750 milliliter bottles so this is this size plus a liter So you're getting a lot more. And this was $7.99 at International Market. And the last time I went there, they had about one or two bottles left. But um, they started with a whole big rack of these, but they slowly dissipated. I, I bought one. It's a beautiful label with two different shades of red, brown, silver, white lettering, and uh, two shades of blue. Yeah, it's plastic. I mean, uh, they probably have... Well, they probably don't have glass. Probably so cheap they only sell plastic, even in 750 brown cap. But um, this is a sugar cane vodka made in Mexico, introduced in 2015, but it's produced in Mexico for Dubai Island International. Sugar cane vodka, does it, what's the difference between this and rum? I've had different explanations. I'm not too sure about those. They say that. Rum uses sugar byproducts like molasses and that the sugar cane vodka uses just the sugar cane juice when they squeeze the juice out of the cane and they immediately distill it, ferment it and distill it. Well, honestly, it tastes like white rum. <clears throat> okay, I have a lot of white rums in that cabinet in the other room and I don't know if I'd be able to tell this apart from those. Um, distilled from premium, of course, every no matter how cheap any product is in the world, it's always going to be premium. From premium sugarcane, made using a traditional charcoal filtration method, okay, that's typical for vodka. It's, it's charcoal filtered 10 times and it's distilled, uh, triple distilled, so you distill it, then distill that, and distill the third, uh, distill the first two distillations a third time. So um, it's very clean, it's very clear. Uh, uh, read video reviews before I bought it. That's why I was hesitant to buy it because some people were saying it's the worst thing they ever tried. It tastes like gasoline and diesel and uh, all kind of other things, you know. And I thought, can't be that bad. And, but that was like, say they had 10 reviews, three of those said that, and the other seven said, oh, yeah, this stuff's pretty good. I'm going to buy it again. So I thought, it's those seven that are correct. Okay. And I agree with them because it's pretty good. <clears throat> In fact, it is just good. It's not pretty good like a B minus. It's just good like a B. Say 85 out of 100. Now I did the Nikolai last video. That's 85, 80, even 86 out of 100. That's from Buffalo Trace. Although you would never find it on their website. Um... It's clearly sugarcane, and you get a lot of grassiness, you know, because sugarcane is a type of grass. It's a very tall grass, and the pulp is sugar. 
and we have sugarcane farms or plantations all around here especially west of the Mississippi River on the west bank of the Mississippi River most of that side of the river is just sugarcane with some houses a few a few houses so you get the grassiness and you get the sugar juice now the Haritos, we're going to pour this in there. It's low carbonation, so if you're used to American pineapple drinks, like I said, Fago in the last video is a common one from Detroit, Michigan. Um, Big Shot, which apparently no longer comes this far west from New Orleans. They go to Kenner and no further west, is what I was told. But Big Shot Pineapple, they're, they're high fructose corn syrup versions and um, they're highly carbonated so you might find this is flat. Prickly carbonation. It's not flat but it is flat relative to those supercharged. Yeah. <clears throat> they probably use a natural pineapple from Mexico like I said. Is it cast off pineapple that wouldn't be suitable for produce sec the produce section in a grocery store, but it's still, you know, edible and they dehydrate it or just smash it all up and get the juice out and flavor the uh, drink with that? Yeah, it's probably something like that. They're not going to waste it as long as it's not rancid. If you saw them making it, you might never buy it. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing, but it's like sausage. You know, if you saw them making sausage, you'd never eat it. But they're not wasting the pig. <laughs> All right, uh, but um, yeah, it's thoroughly enjoyable. I mean, I think the Haritos pineapple is maybe one of the lesser. It's probably the most popular flavor of that in the mango, but it's not to me that. It's a little drab, a little bland. Still a B, a good product. B like eighty three out of one hundred, but um, it could be better. But nothing, you know, off-putting about it or negative. It's just not as flavorful as I'd like. And, I, and there's probably close to 100 video reviews for it. It's going to take me a few days to watch those, see what people think, see if they're... Other video reviews for flavors I've had, the tamarind, the, the mango, the fruit punch, they're all over the place, you know. Some people love them like I did, and some people just hate them, you know, they say, this is terrible, the Haritos is terrible, those are not many videos, and then a lot of them are like, kind of unsure, like, yeah, it's good, but I'm not, I don't know, but a rough estimate, it's probably about 60% favorable, I think, about 60%, as far as the Vodovska and the Nikola, I can't really find videos for these, I don't know what people think about it, because they don't exist, and written reviews are few, like I say, few and far between. Um, uh, most of those are found on uh, Total Wine and More, just customers writing reviews. And like I said, Harit, uh, <clears throat> Vodovska is like 7 to 3. I think it was like 10 reviews. 7 loved it. There wasn't any middle ground. They either loved it or they thought it was uh, an atrocity of mankind. Pure trash. And I, I didn't agree with those. Nikolai Saint, if you, there's a few video I mean a few um written reviews for it uh and they're favorable towards it yes all right so um laissez les bon temps relay and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Mexico and take a soda pop soft drink or sugarcane vodka distillery tour